Hi, welcome to Airdrop Spot and welcome to Sonium Minato Testnet. Sonium is a layer 2 blockchain on the Ethereum network and their testnet campaign is currently on. So to begin with, we are going to visit sepoliafaucet.com. As you decide to interact with the Sonium testnet, please note that no form of airdrop or any reward has been promised so far. We are only doing this because the interaction is free and actually doesn't take more than 20 minutes of your time. So why not do it when you are free? To use our Kemi faucet, you need to log in. So I quickly did that behind the scene. Now paste your Ethereum address and check that capture box right there. Once it is checked, tap on send me it and Sepolia Ethereum will be sent to your wallet address almost instantly. After successfully claiming your Sepolia Ethereum, we are going to visit Sonium official bridge and we are going to be bridging our Sepolia Ethereum into Sonium Minato. So I just pasted the link to the bridge in my search bar. You need to accept to these terms of service before you'll be able to use the bridge. So accept it, then connect your wallet. If you are not on Sepolia network, you have to switch your network to Sepolia. Now ensure that your sender chain is Sepolia and your receiver chain is Minato as seen on my screen. Now indicate the amount of Sepolia that you would like to bridge over to Minato. Tap on Initiate Deposit. Then confirm this transaction in your wallet. The processing takes about 3 minutes for the bridging to be completed and the funds to arrive on Minato in your wallet. Now we are going to visit another website, we are going to visit Very Long Swap and we are going to be doing a few interactions on Sonium Minato Testnet. You will find all the links that I use in this video in the comment section, pinned in the comment section for your convenience. Now let's connect our wallet. You get a prompt to add Asta ZK VM testnet to your wallet. Don't worry about it, just proceed with it. We are going to change over to Minato later. Now tap on that drop down where you see Asta ZK VM and then tap on Minato. Now, you are going to get a prompt to add Sonium Minato to your wallet. Do that and switch your network. Now, the funds I bridged over to Minato have arrived. You can see 0.1 ETH. Now, indicate the amount of ETH that you would like to swap into USDC. And if you tap on that USDC drop down, you also see available tokens, other ones that you can also swap into. But for now, I'll be swapping into USDC. I'm going to tap on swap, I'll tap on confirm swap and then confirm the transaction in my wallet. Swap successful. Now you can also tap on that USDC drop down, choose a different token and also make some swaps but in order not to waste our viewing time, I am not going to repeat the same process all over again. So once you are done swapping, you are going to move over to the liquidity tab. You are going to tap on add liquidity. And in these two drop downs at the top, you are going to choose the token pair that you want to add to the liquidity pool. You can actually use any of the pairs among all the tokens listed here. So I want to add between VLSM and USDC. 
allow the page to fully load it can take some seconds now you want to choose the ratio of the liquidity token pair that you are adding you can choose that by choosing any of the percentages right here or you can just manually add the ratio of the tokens here but instead of going for any of these options i am going to go for full range that is it right here and you are going to tap on I understand. For me, I like to choose full range because it is automatic. Once you choose full range and you determine the amount of one of the tokens that you want to add to the liquidity pool, automatically the appropriate amount of the other pair of the token that you want to add will be displayed instead of you trying to decide the ratio by yourself. So I am adding 260 VLSM into the pool and you can see that the appropriate amount of usdc have been displayed now i'm going to enable vlsm and i have to approve that in my wallet vlsm have been approved for spending i'll repeat the same thing for usdc i'll tap on enable usdc I'll tap on next and tap on approve. Now that the two tokens have been approved for spending, I'll tap on add. I'll tap on add at the bottom again. Then I'll confirm the transaction in my wallet. Transaction completed. And that is all that you need to do on very long swap. As more dApps are added to Sonium, we'll have more interactions to do on the testnet. Lastly, let's visit XName. So what do we want to do here? We want to mint a domain name on Minato testnet. So you want to make sure that in this drop down what you have is Minato. But first of all let us connect our wallet. I have not used xname before so I am going to just create an account with my wallet. I'll get rid of all of these because I do not intend to interact with xname itself. I am only here for the Minato testnet part. So if Minato is not displayed here, tap on that drop down and then choose Minato. Keep scrolling until you see Minato and then choose it. Now once you have that, you are going to search for your domain name of choice that you want to buy. I'll be buying a drop spot as an example. Now, airdropspot.minato is available. I will tap on it, then I will tap on register. If you want to extend the duration, you can also do that by tapping on plus or minus, but it doesn't matter because we are on testnet. Then I am going to confirm the transaction in my wallet. I'll get rid of this as well. I don't intend to go for that with X name. Now, if you tap on airdropspot.minato, you see it as unavailable, and that is because I just purchased that domain. If you tap on it to see the details, let's tap on profile, and then you can see owner. You can see my address as the owner address, and you can see the expiration date in one year's time. That is when it, it will expire, and you can also decide to extend it or transfer it to another address. So that's all about Sonium Minato testnet. By the way, our previous Medium account got suspended. So while that is being solved, I just created a new uh, Medium account and you can find the link to our new Medium account as well as Telegram channel in the comment section as well. Some of our airdrop updates and testnet guides are shared on YouTube while some are shared on our Telegram channel and sometimes some are shared on Medium. So you want to make sure to join us on all platforms so you won't miss out on any important information. 
Thank you for watching. I will see you in another tutorial.